What's up guys, I'm Shandell, and I love gaming, but gaming can be an expensive hobby. Consoles costing hundreds of dollars, gaming PCs costing thousands, and new games now costing up to $70. So I'm going to share some tips to help you save money on gaming while still enjoying great games. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's start by talking about buying used games. As long as you have a console that plays physical discs, so no digital PS5 or Xbox Series S. If you're buying a recently released game used, you could save 10 or $20 on a newer title used. For games that have been out for a while, you could save even more. GameStop sells used games, but their new games used are only a few dollars less than the new games. For the newer games, you're better off checking places like eBay, Amazon, and Craigslist. You can also try other local ways like Facebook Marketplace. But you have to have patience if you're waiting on the recently released games to hit the used market. And it takes a while for the price to go down to a reasonable level. Unless the game doesn't sell well, then it drops quick. But this patience can be rewarded with good savings. And one last thing, if you do buy used games from Facebook or Craigslist, just be safe and always check that the games are in the case or that the console actually works before leaving. It's also good to resell games that you don't play anymore, but if you try to sell or trade the GameStop, you're gonna probably be disappointed in the price they offer, just to let you know. Now, if you do prefer to trade your game for another game with no cash involved, there are websites for this, such as PlayInSwap and GameSwap.com. Have a look at the forums to find someone who's looking for what you have and set up a trade. Okay, next, you can try game streaming subscription services. You can save a lot of money by waiting to buy games until they drop in price months later. But if you want to play the latest titles right away, a budget way to do this is with game streaming subscription services. On console, your main choices are Xbox or Game Pass and PlayStation, PlayStation Now. Xbox Game Pass is the best in a lot of ways. You get Xbox published titles on their day of release as well as others, and it's available on both Xbox consoles and PC for $10 to $15 a month. You can enjoy dozens of top titles for the price of just two AAA games at launch over the course of a year. PlayStation still has some catching up to do when it comes to their service, but I'm sure they will be better or they will offer a new plan in the future. We'll just have to see. Oh, and by the way, Xbox Game Pass also allows you to download all of these games to your console or PC. You can also get free games for memberships. Both PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Gold offer free games each month with their subscription. But it's rare that you will ever see a new big game being free. You mostly get indie games or older games but it's still worth adding to your library every month if you haven't played them. Also, PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live offer exclusive sales and increased discounts on their digital stores for subscribers. Now, these might not be cheaper than physical copies, but they are a great way to save if you prefer digital games. Now, this next tip is for my PC gamers. You all should take advantage of bundles. The Humble Bundle is a great example. It offers a pay what you want model and you can support charity with part of your purchase. Visit Humble.com to check this out. Link in the description below. If you're buying an old console that's been around for a while, you can find some bundles from retailers that include an extra game or controller. However, it's almost always still cheaper to buy a used console from another owner for the best savings. Also, you wanna watch for game deals and price drops, but you have to know where to look. Three sites that keep track of video game sales are Cheap Gamer, Daily Game Deals, and Game Deals. I will have the links in the description below. For Steam users, Epic Game users, or any game store on PC, it's always good to check for sales around early summer, Christmas, or New Year's. These sites always offer great deals around these times of year and throughout the year, and on every Thursday to be exact, Epic Games gives out free games, and sometimes these are AAA games. So even if you don't own a gaming PC right now and you just have a regular computer, then download Epic Games and start claiming these games. Who knows, maybe one day you will own a gaming PC and you will have a nice library already built. So that is all the tips I have for you guys. Hopefully, they help you guys save some money while gaming. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.